Welcome back guys to the channel. FP1 and FP2 has everyone confused at this point. Ferrari, Red Bull, McLaren and Mercedes are all handy. Red Bull has done some digging, and that digging seemed to have paid off. The long run pace and single lap pace on Friday is up there with the McLarens. We had from Adrian Newey during his presentation at Aston Martin that he was frozen out of all car development at Red Bull since Japan, which means all the upgrades on the Red Bull had nothing to do with Newey. Looking at their performance in Baku, they look like a team on top of the issues that plagued them in Monza, though Perez is outperforming Verstappen at the moment. McLaren have better long-run pace compared to all the teams, but McLaren usually sandbag their real car performance until qualifying. I still have them as the team to beat. Mercedes always looks good in free practice, but fall a bit away during qualifying and in the race. So I'm not going to speculate on their performance, because it's hard to determine Mercedes' run plan during free practice. Mercedes often has less fuel in their car than other teams. Ferrari also look very handy. Their Monza upgrades are working very well in Baku also. Unfortunately, Leclerc damaged his car. We don't have any data to compare with others. McLaren can win the race if they choose not to be average like they were in Monza, costing themselves a win. The Red Bulls are running with more downforce, especially Verstappen. His last sector is bad, but his first and second sectors are competitive. Mercedes and Ferrari are running less downforce. This is a bold prediction. Verstappen so far hasn't shown performances that would lead me to believe he will win the race in Baku. So my prediction will be between Lando, Perez, Leclerc winning the race. Oscar Piastri, even if he's ahead of Lando, team orders will come in play. The best for Oscar is second. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you after qualifying tomorrow.